The one control touch panel option gives you two different interfaces to display error codes and system status. You have the one control touch panel that gives you the full comprehensive list of error codes and you have a auto leveling control pad that gives you system status with a red green LED indicator. Now let's get into the auto leveling control pad. So here we have the one LED on the auto leveling control pad and it is going to be either red or green or off. So off means that the touch panel is either locked or, it's, or the system is actually off. Solid green means that it's active, that you're on and ready to go. Your blinking green means that the jacks are moving in some type of a sequence, whether you're auto leveling or you're moving the jacks somehow manually. Solid red means that you have that low battery indicator, means that your, your average 12.6 it's getting below that, you're going to need to charge that battery up. Your blinking red is going to indicate that you have an active error code on one of the jacks or the system. And at that point, then you're going to refer to the one control touch panel. So here we have a list of all of the error codes you might see in the field. So let's go through those individually. So first one, we have excess angle. That basically means that you have an unsecure leveling sensor, so make sure that that's tight on the frame, or you're just parked on an uneven slope, so just repark the RV and you should be good to go. Next one is excessive angle. So excessive angle is a little different. That is, if you're in manual mode and you are, are maneuvering the jacks, there's an anti-twist feature built into the system that will stop you from damaging your RV. So if you get that, all you have to do is stop the manual operation and that will reset it. Next one is bad calibration. That just means that you need to reset your zero point. Um, next, feature disabled. So that's a little bit more complicated. That's when you select the hitch recognition and you're perhaps, uh, when you selected auto level originally, when you auto leveled your unit and the unit was below the level point, as a safety mechanism, it's not going to go back to hitch recognition. It will not um, uh, allow you to hook up your tow vehicle if, this, if your RV is below level. So it's going to pop that feature disabled error. So what you do there is you just reperform the auto level at a, a, a higher than level area. So you should be good to go or reset the zero point. Next one is low voltage. Low voltage means that your battery power has dropped below 9.5 volts and it's going to create a low voltage. What you can do is make sure the wiring is good or just give you get a, either a new battery or recharge that battery. So the out of stroke error, that means that again, you possibly might have that unsecure leveling sensor. So make sure that that's secure to the frame or you're in a really uneven slope where you parked it, so just repark the RV, should be good to go on that one too. Um, next, we have external sensor. You have bad connection or wiring. Replace or repair the connection to the remote sensor, and that is your uh, leveling sensor. Next one is jack timeout. There is a sequence of leveling that the jacks go through specifically, and there's a time limit on it. If it maneuvers past that, you're going to get that time out. All you have to do is check the disposition of the jacks and then just re-level it. Next one is auto level failure. Again, make sure that that level sensor, leveling sensor is secure to the frame, or this is probably going to be your more common one is your voltage drop below the uh, 12 volts. Next one is function aborted. Built into the system, if you touch any of the buttons while it's in a sequence, it's going to put it in that automatic panic and give you a function aborted. All you have to do is just restart the sequence. Your hull power short, the hull effect wiring in the system has a short in the power ground, or the, I'm sorry, the power wire. So what you're going to do there is you're going to troubleshoot that, and we'll go, the, go over that in a little bit. 
Um, can't complete level in this location. The trailer's parked on a steep incline during auto level. It's self-explanatory, just relocate the trailer. There are two different methods that you can perform manual override on these C-Jacks. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the jack harnesses from the motor. Now that we have those jack harnesses disconnected from the motor, we can access the gearbox using a 3 8 inch drive extension and sliding that through the housing until it engages with the gearbox. Now, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise depending upon whether you want to drive that up or down. Now the other method of manual override on these C-Jacks is to use a three-quarter inch socket on this three-quarter inch drive nut on the back of the jack. So you can just run it counterclockwise or, or clockwise depending upon whether you want to move the jack up or down. Next we're going to go over the ground control travel trailer power tongue jack manual override. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to chalk the tires on the RV for safety. Then you're going to come down here to the power and ground connector on the power tongue jack and disconnect it and disconnect the communication wire as well. Then lastly here you're going to come to the fuse on the power wire power of the wire power tongue and jack and pull that fuse, fuse out as well. So what that's going to do is it's going to remove the electricity from the power tongue jack. Then you're going to want to pull this rubber cap off the top and insert this three quarter inch socket onto the three quarter inch nut and turn it counterclockwise or clockwise depending upon whether you're going to retract or extend the power tongue jack. Let's go ahead and program your zero point. So typically the OEM delivers the unit with a zero point programmed into it. However, there are certain situations that the end user will want to program their own zero point, and that is in the troubleshooting process, or if your eggs are rolling off your counter, you're going to want to set your own custom zero point for your system. Let's go inside the RV, and I'll show you how to set zero point. Now, here's your one control touch panel. Now, there's a few different versions out there. On this one, you're going to select leveler six times until you get that advanced feature warning. Basically, that's all it's saying is, is that you're in an advanced feature and be careful, but we obviously know that. So we then select yes. Now you can see where it's in zero mode setup. On other versions, you'll tap the connected icon six times until the options gear icon appears. Then you'll select that to enter the zero point mode screen. Once you're in the zero point mode screen, the process is the same. Now we're going to go ahead and select enter. And now you have the option of moving the jacks around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside the unit and make sure that the unit is level. Now you're going to want to put that level in the doorway flat on the ground and take a look at the bubble and make sure this is where you want it. Now, if you want it to be a little bit high on the front or a little bit back, that doesn't matter. This is your level, not necessarily perfectly level based on the bubble. This is your custom level. I actually want to raise the rear of the unit up a little bit based on how my water drains in my shower. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to raise the rear up. So I'm going to select plus and then press rear. And I'm going to raise that rear up a little bit and make that bubble where I want it. Okay, now let's go check it. Perfect, now I have it perfectly level based on what I need. So now I'm going to go back in and set that zero point. I'm going to select enter and you're going to see zero point stability check. Don't move while this is working. 
and then it's going to say zero point set and, and now your zero point is set and you can auto level it and do all the other sequences necessary.